My friends, it is official. I picked up another bag of polka dot. Want to find out why? Then let's hang out and talk about this. All right, welcome back, you guys, to another edition of I Got a Bag. It is I, Carlton Flowers, your crypto pro, and we're about to break down the details and talk about what I did uh, this morning, actually late morning, almost around noon, in scooping up another bag of polka dot. All right, so let's get rid of that and jump down into the details on the four hour chart via trading view all right so what led me to make this decision well first of all i've been watching these new baselines that i indicated we had previously talked about this upward green trend line that went away as soon as we broke that trend right here and dove back down i knew that we were gonna have to follow the fib circle rings and also look at previous price history now that we've got a big move up big move down one recovery and then we broke this down we have enough action that we can check out what some of those base levels are which were previous supports flipped into resistance so let's draw on the chart here and i'll just show you some of these that helped me to make this decision of course when we came out of the box and we had this little point here at the end of this flag this is going to be a critical support if we break down in the future we'll talk about that in a little bit this point right here was our first support level after this little bounce. Then we had another little bit of back and forth right here that became a support level. So we had all this shoot up activity and then this previous support became a resistance. We broke down all the way back to this one, same one. There it is, here's your support. We blew through this and now this previous one that was ignored, which coincides with this little stair step here, this became another support and then we were crawling up the line up the green line until we get here where this touch point is another critical support line so after we came back down to this one it became resistance and then we flew all the way back down we stopped very briefly here and then we had several touch points down here at the bottom of this baseline so once we bounce back up after touching once twice three times a lady the third one's a charm and then we blew right through it and now here we are sitting right here at the top of this line which is currently acting like a support all right let's clear all that and uh i'm, I'm gonna zoom out one thing that i'll tell you that is good advice <clears throat> when in doubt zoom out and before you make before I make any trading decisions and don't decide anything based on what I'm saying because I'm just playing with small amounts of money and I'm not a financial advisor, I always zoom out so I can get the big picture and then zoom in to the four hour, to the one hour, to the 15 minute to help you figure out when you pull the trigger. Okay, anyway, getting back here to the chart, let's zoom out to the one day so I can show you what I see here and explain how I do this. I noticed that the stochastic was bottomed out and that we're coming up. Now, one interesting thing here, since I bought, we did have a crossover right here. That's a little bit troubling because that tells me that we could go back down in here into the oversold zone. But at the time that I bought, we were right here where the fast line and the slow line were pretty separated. And the only negative uh, thing that I could see was that the volume was on this constant decline. We don't have much volume. But I figured this would be a good time to buy uh, because it looks like we might be heading back up towards this uh, overbought boundary. So that was looking good on the one day chart. All right, <clears throat> now let's zoom into the four hour chart. Next, I was looking at the action that was happening around these supports. So we bounced here, we bounced there, we came up and then we found support here and then we broke down and it, it looked like it was gonna crawl right back up this line. This is the 4.618 magical fib circle ring. And the other thing was at the time 
we were looking pretty good on the stochastic. We were right down here at the bottom where it just crossed over. And so on the four hour, we're looking good because we can see that the momentum is clearly headed upwards. But again, the only negative thing about this chart right now is this extremely low volume. So what I am really gonna be watching to see what happens is if we poke above this next support line that is at $4.39, then maybe we can get some action like this and then maybe make another movement up where we can get into this next volume cluster. Oops, that was supposed to be a circle. This volume cluster right here. So um, right now we're in the thick of things in the current volume cluster centered around the point of control at $4.39. Um, so that's looking pretty good. So that's why I decided to jump in and uh, I, I might try to do some swing trading. You never know, there's not enough movement here for me to be able to swing trade, but if we can get like some really good movement where if we have like a, a seriously strong move that takes us above this upper resistance, and then let's say, uh, for example, the stochastic gets way up here and then it absolutely just does something like this. So let's say the fast line and the slow line are looking like this where it's really divergent. If we get into something like that and we're sitting in this area right around this level of the volume cluster, I'm gonna sell because this will be just too tempting for me knowing that the price is gonna dip back down and maybe look for another bounce here. So I will probably unload everything right there and then just pick it up right here on this line. I've done that on a few other tokens on a couple other cryptocurrencies here in the last few days and I'm consolidating and increasing my position, but I have not done that on Polkadot. Now, let me show you something else that I am doing. Get rid of me. Uh, on the uh, spreadsheet where I have my um, numbers, here's what I've done on Polkadot. Guys, I'm not the Polkadot whale. <clears throat> so don't think that I'm some rich fat cat who's uh, you know, dumping in thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars into this. I'm not a whale. I am just a small business owner retired from the state doing my own thing and I just pick up I pick up a few dots here and there when I can. And so last night was my biggest uh, purchase. I got 25 at $4.22. And so you can see the history of my purchases. The first time I bought it, I only got two, 1.99 at $5.42. Um, and so I just started to just pluck away. Every time I saw a dip, I would buy. And so you can see the highest price that I got was here at $5.95. So as it started to move back down, I started buying more. And then I got 10 at 403, which was my lowest purchase point. Then I got three more at 546. Got another 10 at five bucks as it was coming down. Got five more as it's coming down. 4.62 at 411 and then 25 at 422. So if we get another dip down towards this $3.90 level here at this support, I'd probably get another, you know, 10, 20, who knows. And so right now the total of my bag is 76.75. And this is a weighted average, not just a simple average. A weighted average takes into consideration how many you bought at that price. So I know exactly this entire bag the value per polka dot is $4.75. That ain't bad. <clears throat> okay, so the goal is I want to have at least 100. And then we'll just see what happens after that because I think polka dot is going to follow in the footsteps of Ethereum. And I'm thinking if I hang on to this for a year, we might see a price in a bull run over $100. So that'd be a nice gain if that happens. I'll probably unload half of it, take profit, pay some bills, go have some fun, and then let the rest let the rest ride for the duration. So that is all I've got. What do you think about the movement of polka dot? Do you think that we're going to correct down to this lower baseline? Do you actually think that we could correct way, way, way down here to the two dollar and about three dollar, two dollar ninety cents volume cluster? Can that happen? On balance volume is looking pretty strong. I don't think we will. So I don't see a lot of dumping by institutional buyers going on and I don't think they will because there's too much at stake here. And I think there's such a bright future for Polkadot that 
people are still accumulating very strong, but I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. So that's about all I've got. This is Carlton Flowers, your crypto pro. Post your comments in the comment section below, and we'll see you next time. I'm out.